Hey guys, Dumani here with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So I woke up a little late. I was playing Borderlands literally all night. So if you guys are playing Borderlands 3, let me know in the comments. Maybe get a couple games in together. I'll post my friend code, maybe in Discord if you guys are interested. But the reason why I'm making this video right now is because after waking up, we got some more information on the LR androids uh, that are be should be coming out sometime this week on the global side of the game and JP. And I want to do my initial analysis. I kind of showed their super attacks last night, but I actually think they might be the hardest hitting unit in the game as of right now. Like without, you know, like nuking and orb changes and stuff like that. So uh, let's go hop over here to Screen Mirror. And uh, this one is actually going to be from Garash. He's the only one that actually put out the correct translations for the units. So I believe he's called a homie Garash. If I'm not mistaken, if you guys haven't followed him yet on Twitter, please go do so right now i actually copy and paste this link in the description if you guys are interested to go look at it so lr androids we showed this last night but we didn't have the translations i kind of like i said i was playing borderlands all night um this unit is absolutely insane so main thing that i wanted to go over uh this is <laughs> this is the lr androids before he basically gets his passive off um, after he gets to 66% health, he transforms into Android 16, and this is where things get really, really interesting. So, it, they actually gave us an LR, first off, with a decent transformation, like 66% HP. It's e even easier to get than MUI Goku, so this is something that you're going to see quite often, especially in harder events. This Android 16 is probably, I, I actually, I'm going to say it, he's the best get unit in the game. So uh, let's let's take a look over here, and uh, let's take a look at the translations. So leader skill, and this is another thing I wanted to, like, I was taking a closer look at. I don't know yet. I want to actually play with the unit if it's going to be better to run double leader skill for the androids category um, or run double uh, MVP 17 to get the 170% off and the plus, th uh, plus three key. But his leader skill is androids category key plus four, HP attack and defense 150%. So... I, the extra 40% might be the extra oomph that you need in order to, you know, do, do like, make him the best LR in the game. But I don't know if it's, like, the damage buff is going to be worth the extra two key that you're missing every single turn. Uh, so moving forward, granted, you really got to take into consideration that MVP will be on this team. MVP 17 will be on this team, and he does provide key for the team. So that's another thing to look at. Um, before he transforms, guys, this is the uh, before transformation. 12 key, Bloody Crush, causes immense damage to enemy and lowers attack and defense. And then 18 key, he has quotes too. He actually has voice quotes, which is really cool. I haven't heard the voice quotes for the uh, you know the global version of the game. I'm, I'm assuming it's in English and the JP version will be in Japanese. So uh, I'm kind of curious to see what the global version sounds like. Uh, 18 key is Trinity Destroyed, causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. Quote, We'll play with you again if you can if you can get stronger. <laughs> okay, passive. The true power of androids. Key plus one. Attack and defense seventy eight percent. So this is an LR right here. So he's probably gonna have somewhere around twenty thousand attack power at a rainbow start, anywhere from twenty to twenty two. Just depends. Like I, we don't have we don't actually have the unit files in the game yet. I don't believe this is just all from a Twitter post. So I don't know what his max stats yet for the unit. Uh, attack and defense 78%, medium chance to evade enemy attack, so medium chance. And when HP is 66% or above, androids category allies key plus 2 and attack 40%. So basically, he is giving himself 3 key. Um, you combine that with his leader skill, uh, you're looking at, you're running 2 of them, that's 8 key, and then he's providing 3 key, he has 11 key. So... That's where that's where things are getting kind of like he starts off with letting eleven key. That means you are going to need one key to super. You're automatically going to guarantee yourself a super attack. Uh, the eighteen key, you're going to need seven key to get that off. All right. So uh, moving forward, uh, let's see right here passive. Okay, we got that. So another thing I wanted to mention here is attacks when HP sixty percent, sixty six percent or above. The reason why that number is there because when he's below sixty six percent, that is his conditions in order to transform into Android sixteen. So basically, this passive is pretty much always going to be active, and when it's not, it's time to transform. If that makes sense. All right. So um, his conditions able to be used when HP sixty six percent or below, and there is at least two other androids category allies on your team, or if there is an enemy present whose name is Cell. So you're going to be running an android, you know, 
an Android team with this. So I would imagine that that shouldn't even be a problem. So when you get below 66%, you should be able to, to you know, just pop that button, which is really cool. If you're fighting Cell, there's not a whole lot of events that actually have, you know, Cell as an enemy. But if you just happen to be fighting Cell, um, you can transform without any HP restrictions, which is really cool. All right. Um, he does have more voice voiceovers. We showed that last night when he transforms. He says, like, we, we heard the Goku, we heard him say Goku. So this is what he was saying. Not bad. 1816. Uh, the time has come for me to fight before meeting Goku. Kind of cheesy, but whatever. Um, links. Um, he has pretty good links. Inf infinite energy, Android Assault, Rival Duo. He actually has shocking speed, which is, uh, <laughs> which is more than we can say for LR Cell. Soul versus Soul. That's kind of a really weird link for him, actually. Soul versus Soul. There's not. There's some. Uh, there's not a whole lot of good units that have Soul versus Soul. Fierce Battle is good and Legendary Power. Okay, and he's on four different categories: Androids and Cell Saga, Joint Forces, and Sibling Bond. Okay, so that's you know that's the LR 16, 17, and 18. When he transforms. Okay, and 66% is not impossible. Usually when the fight's hard enough, 66% is, you know, a number that is obtainable. Mm -hmm. He's got to get super attack, basically. Sorry, I got a text message there. Super attack, basically, one time. Um, <laughs> this is nuts. So, his 12 key, Hell's Flash, greatly raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage to enemy, lowers attack and defense. So, he greatly raises his defense, and he lowers attack and defense, okay? Um, Trinity destroyed Max. Now... Is this something that a whole, like, not a lot of LRs, not even LR Kale and Khalifa have the greatly raises attack for one turn? You really got to look at that because, like, I have LR Kale and Khalifa over here. When they do their super attack, causes mega colossal, they raise defense, which raising defense is really, really good too. And his 12 key super also raises defense. But this right here, <laughs> this right here, greatly raises defense for one turn. Greatly raises attack for one turn. You know how much greatly raises attack actually is? It is, according to the Dokkan Wiki, greatly raises attack is 50% attack power right there. You got to look at that, okay? All right. And these are the, the only unit that ha has greatly raises attack and immense damage was the EZA Gohan. Um, and supreme damage were these units right here. But this is going to be another... No, this is, this is going to be the only... This is going to be the only unit in the game from that I think that greatly raises attack that's actually an LR let me uh, this is just raises attack but greatly raises attack at 50% um, he's gonna be the only LR that has this so that's it's that's a lot okay so going forward here greatly raises attack raises attack for one turn causes mega colossal damage to the enemy while sacrificing 6% HP now we haven't really seen a viable unit that sacrifices HP since Kaioken Goku so um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like I was, I was at first, like when I saw this, I was like, oh, you know, like, you know, sacrificing HP be easier to transform. Nah, because like this is, he only, he only does that sacrifice HP after he transforms into just Android 16. So um, I don't like that, that they put that on the unit. It's not that big, a big, big deal, um, but it's definitely something to look at, okay? Kyle can go, I haven't really had to deal with that mechan mechanic until Kyle, like since Kyle can Goku which is like two or three years ago since he was viable. All right, guys, so the last thing that we want to look at is his passive, passive skill. Um, this is the probably the best passive in the game. Mixed with his 12 key and 18 key super, you like this unit has it all, okay? So let's read his passive. Mysterious full power, key plus six. You're going to super attack. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You're going to super attack, okay? Now you, now, now you have options. If you do the 12 key super, you greatly raise defense for one turn. Greatly raises defense is a 50% defense buff, okay? 50% defense, that's up to you. If you do an 18 key super, you greatly raise attack. That's 50% more attack. So you're looking at either 250% attack power or 250% defense you get to choose. By the way, if you choose the 12 key super, you want to play a little bit more defensively, you also... <laughs> lower the attack and defense of the enemy if it's possible to be lowered and he has a high chance to perform a critical hit and then perform an additional super attack if there's an android cell saga category enemy <sighs> okay where to start um so 
if you're <laughs> hopefully you guys have MVP 17 if you have MVP 17 on this team um, he is going to be raising his defense by an additional 60% and then on top of that he is going to greatly raise his defense on his 12 key super you're going to have over 300 like he's going to be probably he's going to have like 300,000 defense I think like without even I I don't know um, this unit is absolutely busted. I, I'm going to say he's going to be the hardest hitting unit in the game. He's going to have 250% roughly attack buff. I think he's going to have 6 to 7, even poss probably like a 6 to 7 mil attack stat when super attacking if you have a rainbow star unit. And then a high chance to perform a critical hit. You know what a high chance to perform a critical hit is? It's 50%, dude. It's 50%. That means he has built in crit. Like, you. You could go additionals on him. Like, I would go additional. Built-in crit is... it's. I don't know, guys. Like, I think he's going to be the best unit in the game. I, I, I really do. Um, I, I do. We don't have him yet in the data files in order for me to test him out yet. But I think he's actually going to pass LR Kelly Khalifa as the best LR in the game. With these new translations, um, I absolutely think so. Let me know in the comments what you guys think overall the unit. Like I said, I think I think he's gonna be the hardest hitting LR. Um, Kel and Khalifa, I mean, they're very very strong. Don't get me wrong; they're nothing to be laughed at. Uh, their maximum total is two hundred forty six percent attack power. Um, I th because he greatly raises attack and like the links that he has, built in crit and everything like that. I really think that he is going to be the hardest hitting unit. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, okay? Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Big shout out to Goresh on Twitter. Again, I will leave a link to his Twitter in the description. Uh, definitely go follow him. It has some really good, really good info. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.